All right, it's no one really, and I'm back with another one. This time we're gonna be taking a look at Velvet from Air Instruments. Essentially, it's a Fender Rose emulation uh, of an EP, uh, and so or emulation of a Fender Rose EP. And it comes with a few different, you know, models. So you have the Mark One, the Mark Two. Uh, it has the Pianet, a couple of other little models in there, um, and they also packed in tons of presets. Uh, if you've been following along with the series, you know that I'm using just one VST to make an entire beat um, from start to finish. Um, the process has been you know, very interesting. Uh, obviously using an EP to make one beat is, seems a little daunting at first, but once I got in and I got to mess around with a few of the presets, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Again, everything that you hear as far as the keys and the ARP sounds, the bass sounds, are all from Velvet. Um, the only thing that's not from Velvet are of course the drums and then that sign sweep. Um, that's a pre-stock sound I have in my library of sounds. And so, you know, I feel like it definitely fit this um, style and so I edited it. But everything else is just Velvet. And we're gonna get into uh, those sounds specifically coming up in the next sections. So let's get into it. One of the keys that I ended up using was the big choir from the SC-73. And, um, you know, just to go through, show you like all the presets that they have, like I mentioned in the intro, check this out. Like, look, from the Mark I, you have over, you have like 70 presets. From the Mark II, you got 70 presets. From the SC-73, you have 70 presets. You have 70 presets from the A200 and, you know, 70 presets. So they give you a ton of presets to work with. And, you know, what's dope is that they even have like a little area right here where they have effects. So you have everything from distortions, you have your wah standard, you have a little mod section, uh, which that's where you find your chorus, your flanger, or flanger, your phaser, and they have two different styles. Then you've got a little cabinet emulations even have some reverb and delay so you know it's, it's fully featured um you know uh, coming through and really with this particular uh project i didn't really do too much alteration to the standard presets because to me they sounded fine right out the box but you can adjust certain things like the velocity sensitivity and it definitely could change like the attack on some of the, some of the parameters um they even have some um you can shift the timber, but but you can also shift how the tuning is, which is pretty nice. Um, if you wanted to change like the feeling, you know, little little nuance settings like that. And so um, one thing that I really liked, I used a bit was, you know, changing the quote unquote age or they say condition of the uh, particular model. And so you can either make it sound brand new. Um, which in this one you might not be able to tell so much, but it definitely adds a little bit of character uh, when you start messing around with some of these settings. And so that's that's one thing that I really liked about this. Um, not to mention um, you have some tube drive that you can feed into it. So you see how it's getting that little bit of grit, a little bit extra bite. But of course, I didn't need that much aggression, so we could back that off. And you know, you have a few other things like bass, like little EQ adjustments you can move, you know, little EQ moves you could do right within the plugin, which is nice. And then um, one thing that's really nice down here is your tremolo um, emulation. And so you can really, you know, step it up, make it really wavy, you know, um, and get it like that and change the speed and everything. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, it's not much, it's, it's really just the EP. And so um, the main challenge of this was taking an EP and converting it into all the instruments that I needed to um, make a track, which really, um, as we go through these sounds, you'll see that uh, I didn't really do anything super complicated with this. It's just more, uh, if you want to call it, arrangement techniques. And so uh, we'll get into a couple of other sounds that I used. All right, let's do it. All 
right, so the next sound I chose to use was the clean wah. Um, this one is also coming out the SC73. And, you know, what was dope about this is that I really like the wah. Um, again, not much sound editing here, you know, nothing really complicated. You know, I liked pretty much all the settings from the preset stock. So if anything, going through, the the main thing is like if you if you're looking for a fast EP with like some pretty dope and sweet presets that's not that can be in the box but then also out the box, um, Velvet is something that I think you should really take a look at. I wasn't using um, it as like you know cording with it. I used it as a lead line, and when you hear it in the context of the track, you know it definitely creates that that melodic line that I feel is you know kind of memorable and kind of fun and kind of sticks out in the mix and so uh, you know with that let's get into the next sound all right so I ended up using the SC73 again to uh, make the bass um, I was kind of thinking of a key bass type of vibe and I didn't really see a preset called key bass so you know I kind of decided to um, you know just layer a couple of notes to try to get that key bassy type of vibe and um, you guys let me know in the comments below if if I achieved it um, but uh, you know, essentially, again, this was like no real sound editing, um, no preset alteration modification. This is just straight stock preset and just octave, you know, playing octaves with the bass. Um, and that's how I was able to um, achieve that low end. And, um, you know, it's pretty much straightforward. Man. I'm just trying to give you all a look at, uh, you know, how you can potentially use uh, these presets right out the box, you know, and just showing you the power that you can achieve, you know, with a little bit of creativity. Uh, and so, you know, with that, you know, um, let's jam out and ride out to this bass line a little bit, and then we'll get into the next little piece. All right. All right, so the next sound I pulled from the Mark I emulation or model, and this one was called the Razor. Now, what was dope about this is that when I was trying to find the next little piece I was gonna add into the instrumental, uh, essentially, um, this stood out because it sounded almost like an electric guitar. Now, that does bring me to the next, I would probably say, it's not necessarily a con if you're looking for accuracy or uh, authenticity but uh i couldn't bend it <laughs> i couldn't bend it so you know if you have a a midi keyboard and you can use the pitch bend or you have some other creative way that you do your bends you won't be doing it with this plugin um so uh that kind of that kind of caught me off guard so i kind of you know tried to play little accent and notes here and there to try to kind of get close to the idea of bending, but obviously I couldn't achieve it uh, like what I wanted to do. So it kind of, you know, caused me to create a different type of mel melody line uh, than I otherwise would have. But, uh, but anyway, you know, I this kind of shows some of the different type of uh, sounds that you get out of once you start leveraging uh, your effects. So you see, we have the distortion turned on we have uh, some mods going on with the flanger, which kind of gives it that little metallic -y noise. And then we have a little bit of delay coming from within the plugin. And so that definitely adds a little bit of flavor and a little bit of life, a little bit of bounce uh, to this piece. Uh, and then when you hear that in the track where it was placed, uh, definitely think, think it reshapes the mood uh, for that particular section. And so, you know, uh, you know, with that, let's get into the next thing. All right. All right, so that's been a look at Velvet by Air Instruments. Um, you know, I really dig this uh, VST uh, for electric pianos. Um, and it's really dope. I didn't even know, like, all the presets that it had and some of the creative things that you could do with it. And a lot of it you could do internally. Um, 
like I say, it's got tons of effects right on board. Um, and I think that's a nice touch because if you don't have any distortion plugins, if you don't have any good Flanger Pro plugins or Phaser plugins, then it definitely comes equipped with enough or delay or reverbs, you know, to get you, you know, sounding pretty pro. And that's the nice thing about, you know, uh, this particular plugin. One thing I'll say is that, like, it's physically modeled, and so if you're trying to do, like, kind of synthy type things with it you won't be able to do that out of the box but of course for those synth heads or sound designers out there you can sample it and mangle it any way that you want um and so you know let me know in the comments below what you think of this vst and you know what you think of the music everything like that as always you know take this as an opportunity to craft greatness please if you like what we're doing you like what uh you like the music like comment subscribe all that good stuff check the uh description box if you want to hear the track by itself no talking no none of that you know please check out the uh alternate video channel and uh you know i look forward to seeing y'all in the next one all right this has been no one really i'm out